right, in today's video, we are testing out Tesla Autopilot in the rain. It is a terrible day today. I mean, look, you can't see out the window at the minute. I did this two years ago, and the Tesla had a lot of problems. No cars behind us. It's warning me to be prepared to... <laughs> That was weird, wasn't it? So I'm about five minutes from that dangerous corner. I want to do it again two years later and find out how much autopilot has improved. So if I go ahead and open the window, you can hear it is very rainy outside. It doesn't always pick up very well on camera, but there's a lot of rain. So let's put the car into drive first of all, and you will see that the automatic wipers come straight on and they are still just doing their thing, looking pretty good. So now I'm going to indicate out and I am going to head off because it is safe to do so. And I'll be turning autopilot on as soon as we get past this roundabout. And I'm going right. Obviously at the moment, Tesla autopilot in the UK at least cannot do roundabouts in the slightest. You've got to do it all completely yourself. Okay, I am going for it now. All right, off we go. And now I'm gonna turn autopilot on. Let's try and turn it on now. There we go, we're away. Hands free, as you can see. And we are whacking ourselves up to 30 miles an hour. There's nothing really that I can see on the roads in the way, so this shouldn't be a problem. Oh, hang on, I take that back. I can see there is a parked car coming up on the left. So let's see, is it gonna panic? Is it gonna abort us or are we just gonna drive straight into it? Let's see, oh, it's slowing us down. It's slowing us down. So I'm gonna take over because I don't wanna mess with the car behind and I'm gonna go around, there we go. Turn autopilot back on. So yeah, you can see that it saw that there was an obstacle up the front. It did not know how to tackle it because this is not the fancy US self-driving beta. This is just plain old simple Tesla autopilot that is still quite limited in the UK. Anyway, we're approaching a corner. The wipers are doing a good job. Oh, here we go, here we go. It slowed us down. It slowed us down. It's telling me to apply. <laughs> it tried to tackle the corner. It did not know how to do it. So that little beep was telling me that I needed to grab hold of the wheel. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we are going left. You can see on the little screen that... Why did it beep? <laughs> I got told to take control immediately because the vehicle was departing the lane. It's because I was going left. That's why I was departing the lane. I was indicating everything. There was a junction, but whatever. Okay. I think autopilot thought that I was sliding off to the side of the road, but I was literally just turning left, you know? So yeah, the automatic wipers at the minute are doing a pretty good job. I have found that in lighter rain, when they're smaller raindrops, the wipers don't turn on fast enough. But I will say it probably doesn't show on camera. There are some streaks across the windscreen. I think maybe my wipers need replaced. Anyway, I'm going to turn autopilot back on. We've got no cars behind us or anything, so this is a good opportunity to test. We have a tricky corner coming up, and at the moment, autopilot is just accelerating. Whoa! Oh my god, I had to take over there. It was tackling that corner at about 45 miles an hour, which is just way too quick. I don't know what it was planning on doing there. Let's turn autopilot back on. Oh, it's not letting me because I've been causing too many problems. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slow down. I'm gonna put myself into park, and that basically resets autopilot. So there we go, we're in park, and now I'm gonna set off again and we should be totally fine. So should we try and turn autopilot on? Oh, it's still actually telling me it's not available, which is quite interesting. Normally it does fix. Let me have another go. Stop telling me that auto steer is unavailable. Right, I'm going to a stop. I'm gonna put my indicators on, I'm gonna go into park. All right. I'm gonna set back off now, there's no cars around. I wanna see, will it let me turn autopilot on? It might be because there's no lanes on this road in all fairness. Yeah, it's still not available, so I'm just gonna to have to go around this car and I'll try on the road up here where there's like better road markings because to be fair, the road markings are pretty much invisible here, particularly with all the rain. All right, here we go. So these are proper road markings, so hopefully I should be able to turn autopilot on now. Yeah, there we go. It was just because, because of the rain, it didn't like the road markings. So it is taking us up to the speed limit, but I am actually going left here, so I'm going to have to abort that. <laughs> but we are approaching that dangerous road. The one that Autopilot really struggled with two years ago. Okay, let's turn Autopilot on here. And as you can see, we're currently in a 30, but we're coming up to a national speed sign. So it should automatically increase our speed to 60. Is it going to do that? No, I have to click this button. Okay, I've clicked it and it is now accelerating us. We've got a good lane position, this is all very nice, but we are coming up to a train crossing. And in my experience, it tries to fly at top speed over this train crossing, which is actually pretty dangerous. Yeah, you can see that we're at 60 miles an hour and this is, is it gonna slow? Oh my God, I'm gonna have to abort. <laughs> you can't go that fast over a railway line, what are you thinking? Oh, but I'll tell you what, I don't know if you can see in the background, the train's about to go past, so it's probably a good thing. Anyway, I've turned our pilot back on and we are about to get to that corner where we got thrown off the road two years ago. Okay, it did not swerve around that puddle, we kind of went into it. It is accelerating us quickly. 
faster than I would like to be traveling, to be honest. Oh, we got more puddles. More puddles, it's slowing us down. This is good, this is good. It's slowing us down to 45 miles an hour. I've not done anything yet. Not too close to those cars. Here's our corner, we're going at 30 miles an hour. Wait for it, wait for it, no cars behind. Oh, it thinks it's a junction line, but it is just a puddle. It's literally just a puddle. That's really interesting. Autopilot unable to proceed, please take over. I've got no traffic behind me. You can see that it was beginning to try and swerve me off the side of the road, but instead it came to a stop, which in all fairness, is safer than what it did this time two years ago. Two years ago, we just slid straight into that little side road. All right, I'm gonna turn autopilot on again here. Nope, nope. <laughs> Auto steer is unavailable for the rest of the drive. So I'm gonna to have to reset it by going into park. So I'm gonna turn into this caravan park really quickly. And I'm just gonna do a quick spin round while there's nobody about. All right, and now let's put ourselves into park to reset autopilot and now take it out of park. <laughs> And hopefully it shouldn't scold us anymore. So I need to be indicating and I need to be heading down here, please. Thank you very much. How delightful. All right. So this has some tricky corners, which I wasn't allowed to try autopilot on, but I'm going to do it now. Autopilot is on. Please keep your hands on the wheel, of course, at all times. And now we are currently accelerating, picking up speed towards 60 miles an hour, even though we are approaching some pretty tight corners. All right. Stopping us at about 52. We're definitely approaching this corner too quick. But it did it. It took us down to 45. And now it's taken us down again, which is good. It's telling me to prepare to take over. But it actually did that quite nicely. So let's see how it does this last corner. Oh, it's slowing us loads. 20 miles an hour. Oh, oh, oh. Tricky, 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 tricky. But not bad. I mean, <laughs> it took us way too far wide because it was avoiding the puddle. I think it thought the edge of the puddle was the edge of the road, which is obviously not true. But in all fairness, it was nice to see it slow down at those corners. But it definitely should have slowed down a little bit more and it definitely shouldn't have gone anywhere near as wide. All right, I want to do the whole corner again, but not until I tell you about Ridge Wallet. <laughs> For years, I carried around a big wallet that looked like this. It was all bulgy in my pocket and my cards aren't particularly secure. But two years ago, I started using Ridge Wallet and I realized that every Everything you use these for can be contained within one of these. This is the wallet I've been using for the last year, but I've just upgraded to the new forged ember design because it just looks really, really pretty. Ridge wallets can safely hold up to 12 cards and they securely hold money on their money clip on the back. You can see that my cards and my money is very, very safe. They've got absolutely tons of very pretty designs on their website. And to match my new forged ember wallet, I've also got the new forged ember key case. Why have your keys all jangling about and taking up a lot of room in your pocket when you can have up to six keys attached to this fella? Ridge is so confident in their products that they come with lifetime warranty and a 45 day test drive so you can get a full refund if you change your mind. If you want to get any Ridge products for yourself, head to ridge.com slash jack and if you use code jack, you can get 10% off your purchase. Okay, time to get back in the rain. <laughs> all right, do you think it's going to do the exact same thing each time I guess we'll find out I've turned on autopilot we're currently at 25 miles an hour and it is accelerating up to 35 and now it's kind of tinkering about 36 it's starting to decrease again here's that tricky puddle and it thinks it's a junction line so if I press the accelerator will it continue no it won't what's it doing I'm still in autopilot it is so panicked right now. There's no cars anywhere. I'm checking. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so last time I just didn't do anything when I got to the junction line. But this time I pushed the accelerator, which is supposed to tell the car that they're fine to proceed. So it attempted to slide forward, but it just instead slid further off the road. So it's going to shout at me unless I go back into park. And now we're going to set off again. Here we go. So you can see that it is showing the junction line there, which is quite nice. But uh, obviously we can't turn autopilot on because it does not attempt to do junctions. This is that tricky puddle that it did not like and it threw us out very wide. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to turn autopilot on again because that train is still waiting to go past. So the road's currently blocked. So I just want to test, seeing as the rails are down, is the car going to stop us? <laughs> or are we just going to plow straight through the railway line? Let's find out. Currently we're still accelerating, but it should see these lights as traffic lights. Oh my God, it is, it is still accelerating at this point. It has not seen anything. What are you doing? Break, break, break. Right, it says it's stopping. It says it's stopping. I'm, I'm being brave and I'm not touching it. <laughs> All right. It stopped us in the perfect place, but it, it was dramatic about it. We were accelerating very quickly towards this crossing. So on screen right now, the train lights are seen as two separate flashing red lights, which is technically wrong, but it's still achieving the same thing. And then this red box underneath says autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over. So I am going to abort autopilot 
And while there's just no traffic anywhere, I'm just going to do a quick reverse. So autopilot, it's doing okay. If it wasn't raining, I think it would have seen the traffic lights way, way sooner. And we wouldn't have had to do basically an emergency autopilot stop. Because yeah, that felt pretty intense. I was like a millisecond away from taking over manually. We've just gone through that very large puddle, did not uh, try to swerve around it. But I guess it would never want to try and swerve around it because it wouldn't want to go onto the other side of the road. There's another one, and here's another one. And now it's slowing us down again. It is interesting how it slows us down to the correct speed at this corner. Like, it does a really good job at that. Let's see what it does this time, though. Same thing again. I'm going to push the accelerator, tell it that we can proceed. Yeah, it's aborted. It doesn't know what to do. Oh, we're technically... Oh my god, this time? Ah, oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to take us down there because it had seen the road markings, but it, it bailed out. It got scared, which is fair enough. That was the right call. Okay, I'm going to try and turn autopilot on now as we go around this tricky corner. So this is pretty tight, uh, but it did it okay. We are quite wide, actually. I would say we're too wide into the middle of the road. Uh, we're hitting all the puddles, can't see. <laughs> We were very wise. You can see on the markers there, the blue lines were very close to the right. And now we're accelerating quickly. Too fast considering the weather conditions, 100%. Um, then we've got a bit of a corner next to the caravan park and it's gone too quick. Oh, I'm a button because I got scared. It's tackling that corner way too quick. Anyway, I've turned autopilot back on. We've got a lot of stuff in the road. We've got a puddle. Oh my God, this is just ridiculous. Another big puddle. Uh, it slows us down. Oh, it's panicking. It's literally just completely panicking. I'm going to allow it to to just take it to an ordinary stop because there's nobody around. So I've not pressed anything. I've not interfered. It's really freaked out. The wipers are going really quick. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Let's go into park and let's all just have a breather. We're fine. That got intense. That got really intense. That was quite interesting though because that was directly impacted by the bad weather. We were just on a straight road, which normally it would just plow through at 60 miles an hour. But because we hit those three puddles at speed, the water covered the windscreen and autopilot panicked because it, I guess it couldn't see when it was traveling quite quickly. So that was really interesting once again. Okay, I'm on a road right now that doesn't have any road markings, so I can't turn on autopilot, but I should be able to turn on cruise control. So this means I still have to steer, but it will keep me at 30 miles an hour unless it senses an obstacle. So let's see, will it slow down for any of these large puddles? I'm going through a big puddle right now. It's not slowed us down at all. I assume it is gonna slow down for this van though. Yeah, it slowed down at a really good point there. That was some great speed. So we can just go around manually. And also we can see the stop sign. We can see the two 30 signs on either side of the road. Everything's displayed really nicely there. All right, let's end off with one final lap of this straight 60 and those tricky corners at the other end. So I can turn autopilot on now. And I think we just let it get up to 60, which it should do quite easily. So it panicked and aborted autopilot when I was driving on the other side of the road. Oh my God. And I've got a big puddle coming up here. So that might cause some problems. It slowed us down. Yeah, there we go. Same kind of panic. The water flooded the windscreen and it's just put it into total abort mode. And we are now coming to a complete stop. The hazards are on. It's asking me to take over. Yeah, it hits those puddles. It just does not know how to tackle them at all. And then it only aborts once it's too late. But is autopilot ever going to be smart enough to go around a puddle at the side of the road? Because it would mean crossing onto the other side of the road. I mean, I guess it probably is. I'm going to turn autopilot on here. This is maybe a... Do you know what? I'm not actually because we don't want to get too dangerous. <laughs> there was a puddle on this side. There was a big lorry on that side. It is not worth the risk, is it? Let's be honest. All right, let's turn autopilot again. And now we're approaching those corners. It's very interesting seeing it just completely get scared when there's just water all over the windscreen. All right, we're approaching the corner. It's slowed us down. It's panicked. It said forward collision warning and it's aborted me. So currently it's still in cruise control, but I'm controlling the steering. So I'll, I'll just see what speed it thinks is safe for this. 30 miles an hour, I'd say that is pretty good. And now tight bend, 28 miles an hour with, with all of that water felt a little bit quick but okay let's turn autopilot back on so here we go we're approaching the train tracks again they are open this time and there is a big lorry on them at the moment which is probably going to control our speed or maybe not maybe we're just going to fly over them at 60 miles an hour again no 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 it's slowing us down it's slowing us down all right i'm gonna let it happen <laughs> okay 
We went over very quick there. So that was too quick, but we didn't make air, all right? I didn't just do a stunt. So it was nice to see that it slowed us down a bit. I feel like if it wasn't for this highway maintenance vehicle, we would have just plowed straight over it at 60 miles an hour, which is just way too dangerous. But here we go. We've got a good speed from this lorry in front. Autopilot does a great job when the weather's nice and you're on a motorway, but it still has a long way to go on these normal UK thin roads, particularly when conditions are bad like this. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see me test some more autopilot stuff because I've not done that in ages. Remember to check out Ridge Wallet. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.